Welcome back to my channel and to another trail camera review. Today it's a 4G pan and tilt trail camera. That means this camera operates on the cellular network and through the app you can open up the app and manually move this camera left and right and up and down. I'm going to do a quick unboxing and I'll show you what you get inside this package. It's also solar powered so there should be a solar panel inside here. But then most importantly after I do the unboxing I'm going to put this camera to work. I put it out here on my farm and start collecting videos of wildlife both daytime and nighttime. That way you can see what type of quality videos you'll get from this, but I'll also go over some of the key features like that pan and tilt feature and also the app, the cost of the data per month and much more. So I encourage you to stick around, but first let's get into the box. So it is a solar powered battery camera. Of course it's pan and tilt, has lots of other features. The brand name is Witsec Tech. Now you say that three times real fast. Inside the package there's some templates to help you mount the camera. There's of course a user's manual with lots of instructions. They also include the data SIM card. It's from EIoT Club and it's made to operate with three of the major networks, AT&T, T-Mobile, and Verizon. You also get a solar panel. It's pretty large in size here when compared to my hand. Pretty long extension cord. You get a tree strap with a metal buckle. Here's the camera itself. We'll take a closer look at that in just a second. It also comes with a mounting bracket some mounting hardware and a USB cable and a mount for the solar panel. Let's take a closer look at the camera itself. It has dual antennas. It looks like they're built in and not easily removed. Of course, this camera does pan and tilt. You're gonna to wanna to remove uh, the plastic covering. You do have IR nighttime lighting and white LEDs. So you can either get black and white videos at night or color. Of course, your lens and your PIR sensor. On the bottom of the camera, it has a spot where you can plug in the solar panel. And here's a rubber grommet to open to turn your power on and off. On the bottom of the camera is where you will put your micro SD and the included SIM card. Let's see if we can open this up. Inside there, uh, your micro SD card goes on that side. The included EIoT Club SIM goes there. Of course, there's a reset button there. The back of the camera has four holes uh, that you could screw this to a post, wall, maybe a tree, or they include that metal bracket that's gonna support the tree strap if you so choose to mount it that way. So next, I'm gonna fully charge this internal battery to give the solar panel a head start. I'm next gonna install the included SIM card. You're gonna need that in the camera so you can operate it on a cellular network. I'll show you some of the key points when activating this camera for the very first time, but then most importantly, I'm gonna start testing this camera, show you some of the key features and sample videos that this camera will take over the next month. So lots more coming right up. So to set up this camera for the first time was a breeze. In fact, even if you don't want to follow the instructions, they have voice prompts that'll walk you through the process. In just a few minutes, I was set up and operating. Enter the camera name and address. Using default name and address can... Camera installed successfully. Fully charge the camera and... Now I want to quickly talk about mounting this camera. It gives you several different options, whether you want to attach it to a post or a tree, mount it directly to a building of some sort. The bracket that's included with the camera has screw holes that you can screw that bracket and then attach the camera, or you can use the included tree strap. Now it's a little bit of fiddling, getting that tree strap through the bracket and then attaching the bracket to the camera. But once you're set up, you're ready to go. Now the included solar panel has a nice adjustable base, but it only has screw holes. So I wanted to use that base with the included tree strap. So I simply got two zip ties. I placed the two zip ties through one of the holes in the base and then fed it through the other two holes. I connected the zip ties but kept them loose at the beginning. I then fed the tree strap through the two zip ties and tightened the zip ties up. 
voila, I now can use the solar panel base with the same strap that came to attach the camera to a tree. If I needed to, I can still slide that solar panel base around the tree to get the optimal sunlight, but yet only have to use the one tree strap that was included with the trail camera. So I do get a lot of questions, why hunting farmer would you want a pan and tilt cellular camera? Well, there's several different reasons, but some of the things that I found them convenient for is they work just like a regular cell camera, except they send videos. I like videos. You know what they say, that a picture's worth a thousand words? Well, the hunting farmer says that a video is worth a thousand pictures. So I like to operate my cameras on video mode. These pan and tilt cameras can send videos right to my phone. But now there's another important feature and that is the pan and tilt feature. You do not have to detect activity in order to use that pan and tilt feature. You can simply log into the app, maybe right before dark, and you can scan your entire food plot right from the app. You could be a thousand miles away from your camera, maybe sitting on your easy chair, open up the app and scan your food plot. And again, this can be done without the camera ever detecting motion. You can simply log into the app and view a live view or pan and tilt the camera anytime you choose. Another great thing about a pan and tilt camera, it's made to mount high. Unlike many other trail cameras, when you put them up in the air, you're getting sticks and shoving things behind it, trying to angle it back down to the ground to get that perfect view. The pan and tilt camera, you can simply mount as high as you would like and then use the app and tilt it down to the desired angle. That makes set up a breeze and it also gets that camera up out of the line of sight of most people and out of reach. But next I want to show you some sample videos so you can see exactly what type of quality you can expect from this camera. So check out some of these videos that I have received from this camera over the past month. So I want to give you a quick demonstration of the app. You can simply open up the app and select your camera and it brings up the live feed. And as you can see there, it loaded within seconds, maybe two or three seconds. I've been extremely impressed with how quickly this camera can connect to that live feed. It's faster than virtually any other pan and tilt camera. Then you can simply select your pan and tilt option here in the corner, and then you have manual control over that camera. You can pan it left and right, and you can also pan up and down right here through the app. You also have control of your settings. If you click the gear icon, it brings up a whole list of the settings that are available uh, through the camera. Back out on the live feed, you can click on the lower right hand corner that brings up an icon with a light bulb. That's for your color nighttime videos or for infrared, you get the ring of red lights. You also have the playback feature. Uh, you can click uh, the playback and it brings up all the recorded videos. You can select different days and different months. It'll bring up a whole list of videos that were recorded on that day. You can select any one of the videos and it'll bring up the video and play it right through the app. It is time for my final thoughts and I'm gonna start off with the pros. This camera operated perfectly for me. I had zero hiccups. I placed this camera in a rather high traffic area and the camera performed flawlessly. I thought the daytime and nighttime videos were good. 
The camera's IR illumination was good. You can see from edge to edge in the video and see exactly what's happening at nighttime. You also have the option with this camera of turning on the white LED flash. It's gonna give you color videos at night. Now, I tried this feature out just to get some sample videos, but I personally prefer the IR at nighttime. It's definitely less likely to spook wildlife. Something I already mentioned, but another positive is how quickly this camera can connect to the app. I don't have great service here on my farm. In fact, through the app, it showed only one bar, sometimes two bars, but this camera connected flawlessly, usually within two or three seconds. So I don't know if it's the software in the camera or the included SIM card, but this camera worked great for me, even in low signal areas. I operated this camera for more than a month and I had over 300 videos sent to me. And this camera used less than one gig of data. And although this camera sends videos and not pictures, it can send videos using very little data. Now this camera is also a good option to use as a security camera. Because it is CIDR camera, it gives you great flexibility on where you can mount or use this camera. Obviously, you don't need any Wi-Fi. All you need is a cellular signal, and you can place this camera at an off-grid cabin, maybe a work site, or around your home or farm. Now, are there any negatives or things that maybe I would change? Um, very minor, but the biggest complaint I have is with the mounting system. It has this mounting bracket that would work fine to simply screw that to a building or a post or maybe a tree and then attach the camera. But when you attach the camera to the mounting bracket that's included, you have four thumb screws. Now I've complained about similar models uh, using this system before. It's still a complaint in my list. Very small thumb screws. You have very little space to fit your fingers and to try and line it up and to thread those thumb screws in. Again, not a huge deal, but it is a bit of a pain and I wish that there was a better system. Right along with that is that mounting bracket that was included for the solar panel. You have to use screws for that or that's how it was intended. If you wanna attach this to a tree that you don't wanna put screws in, uh, you're gonna have to come up with a plan of your own. Hopefully in the future, they could incorporate a way to attach the solar panel using a strap as well. That way, if you wanna use this setup, maybe on public land where you wouldn't be allowed to put screws into a tree, uh, you would have the option of using a strap with the solar panel and the camera. So those were my final thoughts. Again, a good performing camera. I had no issues and I think it's a solid choice, especially for its price point. I'm gonna be placing a link down in the description to this exact camera. If you would like more information or maybe you'd like to purchase one for yourself, it will be an affiliate link. So if you choose to buy one, I do get a small commission and it helps my channel continue to bring reviews just like this. I'd also encourage you to leave any comments or questions down in the comment section. I love hearing from you and I try and get back to each and every one of you. I wanna thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.